Hi, this is pathology of disorders of the stomach, and this is part four. We're going to go over hypertrophic gastropathies in this part. So first, we'll went over normal histology of stomach, continued with acute gastritis, gastropathy, chronic gastritis, and in this part, I'm going to cover hypertrophic gastropathies. So hypertrophic gastropathies are uncommon. They are rare disorders. It's basically characterized by giant cerebriform enlargement of the rugal folds. Basically, you have um, epithelial hyperplasia of the folds, and not much inflammation is uh, often seen in these. As you can guess, it's linked to excessive growth factor release. So basically, some growth factor is released, and then you have enlargement of the rugal folds of the stomach. There are two well-defined examples of hypertrophic gastropathies that you need to know about, Minetrier disease and Zollinger-Ellison syndrome. Let's go over both of them. So Minetrier disease, again, it's a rare disorder. Basically, you have excessive secretion of transforming growth factor alpha, TGF alpha. You have diffuse hyperplasia of the foveolar epithelium of the body of fundus. So you have a lot of um, epithelial hyperplasia. You can get hyponatremia, hypoproteinemia uh, due to protein losing entropy. You can also have secondary symptoms like weight loss, diarrhea, peripheral edema. Usually in pediatrics, it's a very self-limited disease. In adults, there is risk of adenocarcinoma. Histologically, what do we see? We see thickened mucosal fold. There is a lot of hyperplasia of the um, gastric mucosa, and also sometimes you have cystically dilated fold. So a lot of hypertrophic uh, gastric fold and gastric glands. Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, it's basically caused by gastrin secreting tumors. Uh, these are called gastrinoma. They produce gastrin. Most commonly, these tumors are present in the small intestine or pancreas. So they secrete gastrin, as we said. So increased gastrin will uh, have an effect on the fundic mucosal. It will increase or double the fundic mucosal thickness due to increase in number of parietal cells. So you have five-fold increase of number of parietal cells due to gastrin, and you have increased thickness. Due to increased number of parietal cells, you have increase of acid production, leading to duodenal ulcers. So whenever you have a lot of acid, you can have duodenal ulcers. Also, you have hyperplasia of the mucus cells, the gastric foveolar cells, you have mucin hyperproduction, proliferation of endocrine cells as well. Sometimes this proliferation of endocrine cells can cause dysplastic nodules and rarely can cause neuroendocrine tumors. Treatment, how do we treat this? Basically the first uh, line of treatment is if you have to block acid hypersecretion. You have to block this acid production so you will prevent the duodenal ulcers. You give the patient proton pump inhibitors. Then you treat the gastrinomas, resection or any other kind. So what are gastrinomas? These gastrinomas in these patients grow very slowly. 60 to 90% are malignant. They are sporadic in 75% of patients. Often it's solitary and can also be resected surgically. So they go and take these tumors out. In 25% of patients, you can have multiple gastrinomas or gastrin producing tumors. And these patients can have multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 or MEN1 syndrome. Often these patients have multiple gastrinomas, can have metastatic disease, so they often uh, uh, benefit from treatment with somatostatin analogs. So these patients are the troublesome and their multiple lesions. Uh, how do we detect these gastrinomas? They can use somatostatin receptor uh, scintiography or endoscopic ultrasound um, ultrasonography, so or ultrasound endoscopically to detect these gastrinomas. And as we mentioned, most of these gastrinomas are uh, located in duodenum or pancreas. In the stomach, what we see is marked gastric uh, fundic uh, 
gland hyperplasia. You have five-fold increase in thickness of fundic glands, and you see them in dollager ellison syndrome. So summary of part four, hypertrophic gastropathies. Uh, the two well-defined um, disorders are menetrier disease and dollagen ellison syndrome. Menetrier disease is a rare disorder. You have excessive secretion of transforming growth factor alpha. It characterized by diffuse foveolar hyperplasia and protein losing entropy. Zollinger ellison syndrome is caused by gastrin secreting tumors that cause parietal cell hyperplasia and has acid hypersecretion. You have uh, 60 or 92 90% of these gastrinomas can be malignant. This is another picture of Chicago near sunset. As you can see, this is a moon having some reflection of the sun. These are my emails and my Twitter handle. Please keep in touch. Thank you.